Hello and welcome. What I want to look at in this video is frame relay in a multi-point environment. Multi-point, the protocol that we're familiar with is multi-point is going to be Ethernet, fast Ethernet. So in this environment with frame relay and the multi-point, a couple of things down here have, have to be true. They're on the same subnet. Here we are on the same subnet and on this one they're on the 192.168.1 subnet. <clears throat> we have three routers here with a frame cloud in the middle and I'm doing this on Packet Tracer. <coughs> Excuse me, the, the headquarters router is 192.168.1.1 and we're going to go back to a 101 network here, 1.2 and 1.3. So we have all of these routers with addresses on the same network. The first thing we need to do is, is assign encapsulation to the uh, interfaces. And in this case, we're going to assign frame relay. And after that, we're going to we have an IP address on the serial, obviously, encapsulation, frame relay, and then the frame relay map. And these are the commands that we're going to use. And on this one, frame relay map IP 192.168.1.2 to get to 1.2 we're going to go out to DELC 102. Uh, the DELCs are pre-configured and what we have in this is 102 and 201. These are actually connected together inside the frame switch here. 103 is connected to 301. With that, let's see if we can do some of the configurations here. Let's, let's see if we can get all of this stuff to where it's visible at the same time perhaps get this one back and we'll go to the command line interface on this thing and we'll do enable let's do a show run to start with so the interface fast ethernet 101.1 which would be this one right here it's the 10.0 network and the interface 0000192168 1.1 1 .1 with a 255, 255, 255 subnet mask. So we're going to config T an interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 encapsulation frame relay. <clears throat> we change the interface status to up with that. Now we're going to need to create our frame relay map. Frame relay map. And if we do the question mark, which protocol are we going to use? IP. And this is always a handy thing to use. The protocol specific address, which is going to be where we're going, 192.168.1.2. And then after that, the Del C, and you notice that it just wants the Del C number, 102. And after that, we can specify the encapsulation protocol. Cisco is the default, and it is preferred if they're all Cisco routers. If you're going to a different type of router, you need to use the uh, IETF encapsulation. But in this case, I'm going to try to put a broadcast dynamic routing protocol on the system here. So what I want to do is use the broadcast command. And it says that if we do that, broadcasts should be uh, forwarded to this address. So we will allow broadcasts on it. I'm going to do the same thing to go to the 1.0 or the 1.3 address out of the 1.0.3. So I'm just going to use the up arrow key and back up here and go to 1.3 and we'll go out the 103 Delsi and then I can use the broadcast command again. That should take care of the configuration on the headquarters router. The next, let's go to the Phoenix router up here and we're going to do this similar, same similar process. Let me get it down here. So we're going to go into the command line interface, enable, and we'll show the run. And again, we have the IP addresses on 
the interfaces that we're going to use already. So go to config t interface 00 slash 0 slash 0 and we'll do encapsulation. You notice I'm using the tab key which prevents me from making a lot of typos. Encapsulation frame relay. So then after we do that we need to do the frame map frame relay map the question mark IP and the question mark where we're going to go to we're going to go to 192.168.1.1 and on this case which Delsey are we going to use we're going to the Delsey again is going to be local so we're going to go out Delsey 201 201 and 202 are connected together 201 and again, we're going to use the broadcast because if we're going to use broadcast on each of these things, then all of them need to use the broadcast. So the address is already in the map. Investigation, and sure enough, it is there. If we do a show frame relay map, then we see that the IP 192.168.1.1, Delsey 201 dynamic, so it actually configured itself broadcast. Cisco status defined and active, so it should be up and running. I guess one of the ways that we could figure that one out is see if we can ping 192.168.1.1. And sure enough, up and running. That happened when we put the frame relay encapsulation on the system and it automatically shared the information and found it. So let's go to Milwaukee and see we can do a show frame relay map here which you obviously have done it. It doesn't it doesn't show us anything in the command command line interface. So we're on Milwaukee on this one. So let's do a show run again and we can see that 000 is in the 1.3 uh, so with that, go to config t interface 00 slash 0 slash 0 and do a frame, or not frame, it's encapsulation, right? Encapsulation frame relay. So when we do the encapsulation frame relay, the protocol is up. Let's just do something. Let's go to back and show frame relay map and I don't have anything so when we go to this one we'll go back to our interface I'm going to go config T interface and then we're going to do frame relay map IP 192.168.1.1 right and then we're going to go out 301 is that correct 301, so that's the Delsey number if we do the question mark. 301, and then again, I still want to use the broadcast command. So it's already there. It did actually find it again. And so we can show frame relay map, and sure enough, we are there. Can we ping 192.168.1.1? And sure enough, we can. Should we be able to ping? 1.2, let's see, ping 192.168.1.2, and we can't because it doesn't really have a route to get there. Okay, so we can ping the headquarters router, but we can't Phoenix. The reason is we've told this system and routers need to have a specific direction. We've told Milwaukee how to get to headquarters and headquarters how to get to Milwaukee. Headquarters how to get to Phoenix and Phoenix how to get to headquarters. Now we need to tell Milwaukee how to get to Phoenix and Phoenix how to get to Milwaukee. So we need to go back to the interface. I guess if I get in the right mode, config T interface 00 slash zero slash zero and now we need, so we already have the encapsulation on it so we need to do a frame map frame relay map and again we're going to do IP 
And the location that we're going to in this case is 192, because we're on Milwaukee, 192, 168.1.2, 192.168.1.2. And to go to it, let me move this around again, we're still going to go out Del C301. Milwaukee doesn't know how to get to Phoenix, and Phoenix doesn't know how to get to Milwaukee. They both know how to get to headquarters. So what it will do is send it to headquarters. Once it gets to headquarters, headquarters knows how to get to that location. To 1.2, and again, since we want to try to, the Delsey number here is going to be 301, right? Got that right. And then we still want to give it the broadcast command. What I need to do now is go up to Phoenix and do a similar thing because we can ping 1.1, ping 192.168.1. What is it? 3.1.3. And we presume it doesn't work and it doesn't work. We can wait for this to time out or Control Shift 6. So we enable, we'll go to Config T. Interface, got to spell it right, zero, zero, slash, zero, slash, zero. And we're going to do a frame relay map, right? Frame relay map, and again, the protocol IP, and the, the location that we're going to go to, we're on Phoenix, we're going to go to 192.168.1.3. And the Delsey, in this one, the Delsey, we're going to go out Delsey 201. And we still want to give it the broadcast. So now the big test here, can we ping 192.168.68. Let's go the short one, 1.1, .1, it works. And now let's try 1.3. And sure enough, it works. So we've now configured frame relay with the frame maps to get from the one location to the other location. The next thing to do is to configure broadcast routing protocol on this. And RIP being something really simple to use, let's see if we can do RIP on these things. So we'll go config. Well, first of all, in order to determine which networks that you need to put in the RIP command and the network command, I think the easiest thing to do is to do a show IP route, and it will tell you which networks are directly connected to it. These are the ones that we need to advertise. The one network we need to put into it because it advertises and activates that uh, interface for RIP. So let's go to config T and router. RIP network 192.168.1.0 and since it's a we've not specified something other than RIP v1 it should be a class full protocol and then we're going to do one and then we're going to do 102.0 so we should have RIP configured on Phoenix let's go to the headquarters router and show IP route, same thing, config T, router, rip, network, 192.168.1.0, got to get right, 192.168.1.0, right, and then, well, I guess that if I type the 1 correctly, 1.0, and then we'll do no network to get rid of that one. No network 2.0, and then we'll go to network 101.0. So, with that, got to spell exit correctly. So, with that, we should have, and we do have, a RIP route on how to get to the 102. We go via 1.2. The next hop is 1.2. So we should be able to get from the headquarters to the Phoenix router. And let's go to Phoenix 
and see if it has any rip routes. So now I'm going to show IP route, and it has ripping and as well as the configured routes. Let's go to Milwaukee and do the same thing here. Let's go show IP or IP route. Tab key works a lot better. Config T router rip network one nine one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot dot one dot one. Let's see if we'll get the one in here eventually. Dot zero, just like the other one. And then we're also going to have one zero one zero three dot zero. And let's show IP route. We get the one zero one, the one from the headquarters, but we don't get the one for Phoenix. The reason is, if you will remember about Split Horizon, that a router in RIP is not able to send information out the interface it got that information from. So what we need to do is go into the headquarters router, since it's the one with the uh, uh, split horizon issue and go into config T interface zero zero slash zero slash zero and do no config T interface zero says no split horizon. No I no and I'm gonna use this and let's see what would we have to do IP is the next one so no IP. What keyed me to that is I was trying to use the tab key, no split, and I wouldn't finish the command, which means that I'm at the wrong thing. So no IP split horizon. Let's do an end here and show IP route. And I have both of the rip routes for the 102 and the 103. Now then, with any luck, if we go back to these, we have the two rip routes. So the split horizon, the no split horizon was necessary in order to allow these uh, interfaces, these routers, to actually share their routing information. Let's check one of them out, and I don't know what the IP addresses here are, are of these things. Let's see. Show I show show IP won't work, so it's IP config one zero one dot two. So I'm guessing that this one down here would be one zero two dot three. So let's see, let's just give it a shot. Ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight. One sixty eight dot one zero two dot two. Post unreachable. From 101.1. Let's see why that is. Okay, so let's go back to what I typed 169 instead of 168. You probably saw that already. So let's try 192.168, the, the network that we're actually on, dot 102.2, and it is working. It's going back and forth. Uh, fat fingering these things can make a mess, and I made a mess out of it by fat fingering it. So with that, we have now configured frame relay in a multi-point environment. Again, multi-point, all of them are on the same network. So with that, I hope this has been useful, and thank you for watching.